If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon for more videos. Peace out, guys. Hey, guys. I'm Lucky. I'm back here for another video, guys. Give me a quick video. I'm just going to be talking about in this video is what solo should you do first in a Madden 18. Now, of course, you know, in Mud 18, a lot of people are going to be excited about the game mode. But, you know, it is time, that kind of school time where people are going back to school, people are going to work. They just, You guys might just not have enough time to, you know, have do all the solos in here. So, with that in mind, you know, which one should you do first? We do have the kickoff solos, the NFL journey solos, the gauntlet solos, the chronicles of long shot, and then the level challenges. Now, with that in mind, first off, the kickoff. Let's start with the kickoff real fast. Now, if you do the kickoff solos, you do get Gronk and you do get... Uh, Champ Bailey. Now they did say within the first hour you had to complete these. Um, I don't think that's true because I actually completed these on my live stream and it. I spent three hours doing these and I because I was doing other things with that and I did not even you know complete. The, I completed them three hours after I logged in. So. I don't think that's 100% true, but with that in mind, it might be true for the actual game, it just might not be true for EA Access, it might be true for the actual game, but with that in mind, I'd probably get them done first, just because of the fact that there might actually be a time limit, I just didn't see one myself. With that in mind though, the first thing I recommend doing, right out of the gate, is going to be not the gauntlet, I know the gauntlet, everyone's like, oh the gauntlet, obviously probably going to be NFL journey and the reason why is you're, you're going to see this right away first off you can't do the NFL journey until you unlock all the other uh, the gauntlet until you unlock um you know all three you have to be level 15 to do the whole entire gauntlet I believe you can do the first level right out of the gate but you cannot do the other two until you're at least level 10 and level 15 NFL journey I believe is actually unlocked um, day one, I believe you don't have to be a level to unlock it. If you do have to have a level, I believe it's like level five, which honestly, again, you get level five after doing kickoff uh, solo challenges. So I recommend doing this first and then the NFL journey. And then I'd probably go ahead and go to Chronicles of Long Shot or level, uh, sorry, the gauntlet after NFL journey and then maybe Chronicles and then maybe level challenges. But with that in mind, you know, the gauntlet that's going to be something that, you know, again, you have to get level 10 in order to do. So that's why if there was no leveling system, I would say kick off gauntlet. But because gauntlet, you have to be level 10, you know, you might get done level one here, all 20 of these, and you're not going to be a high enough level. Now, the most coins, what's going to award you the most coins is going to be this one, of course, as you can see, 110k for doing the whole entire gauntlet. NFL Journey, you know, that's going to reward you 68,000 coins and give you a 86 overall Devontae Adams. So, personally, I recommend if you don't have much time, just get done the kickoff. And let's say you, you have some more time, try to grind out NFL Journey. Get this whole thing done. And then once you get, you, you'll probably be like level 15 by the time you've done this. Then go ahead and go to Gauntlet. Then maybe Chronicles. Actually, I'd probably go to level challenges and then Chronicles. Because Chronicles, you have to get uh, chemistry, a minimum of tier 1 in your active lineup of long shot chemistry. So I'd probably go level challenges and then Chronicles. And that's probably the order I'd go in. So once again, kickoff, journey, gauntlet, level, and then Chronicles. Uh, but guys, if you have unlimited time, obviously do all the solo challenges. Get them all done. Get all the coins you can. Get as high a level as possible. But remember that uh, day one, I believe, level 30 is the maxed out level. Uh, so keep that in mind. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.